What's up guys? Hook is back with another quick uh, flight school video for DCS World. Now we're all aviation fans. Some of us are real world pilots, others just a simulator enthusiast. But whether you're a real world pilot or a sim aviation fan, one thing that will help you is to know real world traffic patterns. Uh, when you're flying in a multiplayer environment, such as my uh, co-op squadron, the Black Knights, uh, we require a real world traffic patterns or realistic traffic patterns whatever possible because they work and it keeps you from hitting other aircraft and even on multiplayer servers you'll find that uh, that's going to behoove you to avoid mid airs if you're flying a proper pattern so let's uh, start out with what a pattern is um, it's a standardized uh, entry into a runway and as you can see the legs are based off of the runway here everything's in reference to the runway so this is a left traf hand traffic pattern, and we're going to demonstrate the left hand traffic pattern. Uh, the right hand traffic pattern is the same thing, but imagine all these are right turns instead of left turns. So where do we come up with the crosswind, downwind, base, final, and departure legs? Well, a traffic pattern is always built off of the wind, and we've got a little handy dandy drawing tool here. So you can see the wind sock, sh wind sock rather, shows the wind going down the runway. And you are always going to make an effort to land uh, into the wind. Whether it's right down the runway, <laughs> where I live, it's never that, it's always a crosswind, or up to a 90 degree crosswind. And even a 90 degree cro crosswind is pushing it a little bit, but it is possible. So all these are okay wind angles. What is not okay is any type of tailwind whether it's a crossing tailwind or a direct tailwind. Why do we not like tailwinds? Tailwinds kill the lift of your aircraft. They arrest the uh, airfoil of the wing going over the camber of the wing and it decreases your lift. And that can put you in a dangerous situation where a gust, right as you're just a, you know, 20 feet off the runway, the gust can kill your lift and your aircraft just drops onto the runway. Uh, forcefully and damages the undercarriage or worse makes you crash so we don't like tailwinds so uh, that's where we come up with wind in the name of some of these uh, some of these legs so remember downwind is with the wind right so here's the wind direction here's our downwind leg so in a left hand traffic pattern in most traffic patterns actually you're gonna start in some type of entry to the downwind now here we have what we call the 45 degree entry into the downwind you can also make a midfield entry crossing over. You can also generally do whatever the tower tells you to. Uh, but uh, your standard entries is going to be that 45 degree entry here. And that's what we're going to demonstrate in DCS today. Now there are other ways to enter the pattern. You could do a crosswind entry. I've done some of those here where I live. Uh, you can even be told to enter in the base or even a long final. And that's called the straight in approach. But again, today we're going to do that 45 degree entry. Remember for your traffic pattern, the altitude is generally 1,000 feet AGL on your downwind leg. <laughs> such, a good, uh, such a good pivot ship. And then as we uh, turn around here onto your final, uh, or I'm sorry, let's start with a beam the runway. Our actions on a beam the runway are gear down, uh, flaps down, configure aircraft for landing. As we turn to final here, we're going to want a 500 foot per minute descent throughout our final. Or I'm sorry, our base leg, our base leg. We will begin our 500 foot per minute descent through our base leg. And the goal is to be on the runway. The rollout to final here is generally anywhere from three to 500 feet. So 500 feet. And we will keep that nice 500 foot per minute descent uh, through our final up until we get uh, over the threshold and uh, into the ground effect where we're going to ease up to a nice slow descent onto the runway. Once again, we're landing with a crosswind, so remember we're going to crab the aircraft, calling this aircraft into the wind. We're going to bring it in at a 45 degree uh, angle down to the uh, runway. And even the last video covered crosswind landing once again in DCS. Let me tab to that. We're just going to demonstrate a couple things about that. Uh, facing the aircraft, so as we come in for that crosswind landing, just remember that the wind is coming from this direction. So we're going to drop this wing down, put this landing gear on the runway first, and we're going to keep rudder deflection on the pedals 
um, as we're coming in. When we put that landing gear down, we're going to put in right rudder deflection. All righty. I really like this pin tool, as you guys can tell. <laughs> it's, it's very handy. Okay, and along with that, oops, I made Windows mad. There we go. And along with that, I'm going to visually draw the pattern for you guys. All right. So we are right in the center of the camera. If we look over here, uh, once again, we'll make this a fine drawing tool. We're going to make that 45 degree entry, fly the downwind, fly the base, turn final, and land. And our goal is to be right around those 1,000 foot markers on our touchdown. Okay, well, let's fly it now and see if I can make it look worth a, worth a crap. That'll be the, the real test. Alright, so I'm pausing here. So once again, our, our runway is uh, runway 09 at Ramat David, uh, Israel, on the Syria map. Our goal is to maintain about 1,000 feet. I don't know how to read this Russian metric altimeter, but we're going to go ahead and make that 45 degree entry here to the downwind. All right, we're a little close to the, uh, the airfield, so I'm going to try to get just a little bit of space. Okay. And we're already feeling that, that crosswind. See how we're already having to crab the nose? All right, so we're beating the runway, so we're going to go gear down. If I can remember the key bind for it. There we go. And, oops, I hate track out here. We're going to put in some flaps as well. All right. So as the runway gets to about our uh, about our seven o'clock, we are going to turn base and we're going to start that 500 foot per minute descent. All right, so starting the descent. And here is our base leg. And we can see our VVI, I think it's called, in the uh, Russian aircraft is showing just about a 500 metrics descent, so we'll arrest that a little bit. And here's our base leg, and with that strong uh, crosswind, I overshot base. No problem. We're just going to keep some correction in there and get back on the center line. in to get the center line. Again, we're crabbing down to the runway. You guys bear with me. I have a new throttle, so flying the throttle is a whole different experience. And we're trying to keep that center line in the direction of uh, travel. Not in our nose direction, but in our direction of flight, because we have that left crab. Try to put that once again the left main gear down first, the left wing down, and then in ground effect, right rudder over the center line. All right, and here we go left wing down, right rudder. Oh, just a little bit of a balloon. That's all right, we'll just keep that left wing down. There we go. That is a strong crosswind. <laughs> I about biffed that. All right, and never be afraid to go around. I was, because I don't look like an idiot when I'm a real-world pilot and I'm flying a sim. But if it's looking rough and you're about to go over the grass, time to just add that go-around power and uh, get a good positive ascent rate and then clean up your flaps and your gear. And uh, when you go around, you're going to fly runway heading and just re-enter the pattern. And that's the last thing we'll talk about in the video here. So in the go-around, just to visually demonstrate that for you guys, once again, um, let's say we decide, wow, we missed the runway, we're over the grass. So we're going to go around, we're going to fly direction, runway heading, 360 degrees in this diagram. Turn our crosswind entry, and our goal is to ascend to uh, pattern altitude, which is typically 1,000 by the time we reach our uh, downwind, and then we will just fly our downwind back into the pattern. All right, well, sorry about the shitty landing, but uh, hopefully this is still helpful to you guys and helps you understand the traffic pattern. All right, hook out. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.